Hello, in this video I will try to show you a little example on about how to connect two uh, elements that can be two control elements that can be in two different locations using a MQTT um, broker, MQTT communication between these two uh, locations. So, for example, imagine that we have this switch in location 1 and uh, we have this switch here in location 2. So we want that this lamp uh, turn on when we have, when this switch is um, on and this here should be off. Okay, so what it means is that we, we need that this to implement a logic function. Okay, switch and not this one. Okay, so, but in the middle you can see that we will use an MQTT broker. So how it works? What it, how it works is that we have this uh, control equation here or this controller uh, function that is reading the value of switch and executing this instruction, this AND between the switch, the value of switch, and the value that is reading and is being, uh, in fact, this control, controller here is subscribing to the value that is being published by controller 2 through the MQTT broker. So it will be uh, subscribing to, uh, to this S2. So S1 is the value received by this controller corresponding to this switch here. And then this control function is being executed here in, in this location 1. In location 2, what we have is that this controller is subscribing to the value of this switch, which is being published by this controller. And then uh, this the line, this, this simple line that is executing this controller 2 is to write the value that is receiving here in U2 to uh, the lamp. That's it. So it's a very simple uh, example, but it, my point is that I want to show you how you can do this by using MQTT broker in the middle. Okay. So I am using uh, Codesys. Okay, and uh, uh, be before explaining you and showing you this example, I will try to show you how uh, this program, okay, the program that is uh, being executed here is just this two lines, okay. This uh, variable switch is being, uh, is the input of, of this AND, and we have this neg negative of S1, and this uh, the, the value is right is being uh, written to this U1 here, and then is going to MQTT broker. Then from the MQTT broker, we have this value U2 that is uh, it will be transferred to Y2. So this, as I, I I told you, this line here is being executed in location one. And this line here is being executed in location two. Here, of course, I am executing in the in the same task in, in codices because well, I am using only one laptop, but they can be in different locations. So we have some MQTT uh, things here in a different video. I, I can try to explain this with more details, but the the basic point is that I am publishing the value of U1 and uh, S2 in these two instructions and I, I am subscribing to, to the value of uh, U2 and S1 in this using these uh, two instructions. Okay. Then, um, okay, so here you can see that I have this controller and uh, when I turn off the switch in this location, 
so it it, uh, it is turning off in the second location okay like that little delay is there okay and uh, when i have on, when this is on and this one is off after some time you can see that this turn off because in, in this case you, you see that how this signal has to come here so here it is being executed here and then transfer back and uh, updated here okay so you can see here the delay which is introduced by this MQTT broker so the, the, the only thing is that if to show you that in fact uh, the MQTT broker is receiving publishing and subscribing the data I will show you this example here so this is the um, MQTT Explorer okay so I want to show you here you can see that these two values string u1 and string uh, s2 uh, is being received by you can in fact check that uh, the uh, broker is in fact publishing and subscribing or is receiving the uh, what is being published in these two lines here okay so here in fact this MQTT Explorer is just a client and I am subscribing to uh, this line here so if you do this and you subscribe to this while running the uh, project in code says you should be able to see that the variables are being updated there so I will upload this project also to my github account and uh, uh, it will be I, I will be happy if you run and you uh, can verify that uh, is working and in, in case you have any questions so you can uh, ask me uh, in the comments of this video so to to answer a question in my previous video so uh, some uh, one of the uh, um, uh, people that are subscribing to my videos he was asking how can we install the uh, Arduino uh, in this Codsy spells PLC so in fact uh, this idea of installing the uh, hardware the hardware in, in, in when you are using this type of uh, protocols like MQTT Modbus etc so in fact uh, there is no such a thing as installing this thing okay so because what we are doing is setting up the communication track. so the idea of installing this type of things with uh, some specific drivers and all these things i think that is uh, not there because well all the problems that uh, i remember of the drivers that you should you have to that you need for different type of hardware systems and everything so now uh, the thing is that you are, you prefer to use these uh, protocols that are uh, open and then that are uh, so that will be easier for you because you don't have to install anything you you just need to set up the the uh, uh, communication the way that i'm doing here in codesys and uh, in and that's it you are and then uh, send the data or receive the data and uh, that's it. sometimes it can be tricky i am not telling you uh, so you try to do it because well it depends if you may sometimes maybe when you are using this type of um, things some library uh, can be missing in your system or something like this so uh, they will you, you may have many problems but if you have any problems so let me know in the video Okay, so see you in the next video.